James graduated from Albuquerque Academy in 1996. He attended Northeastern Junior College in Sterling, Colorado for one year where he played on the basketball team. After his freshman year, James transferred to the University of San Diego where he played and later began his coaching career. After coaching two years at USD, James then began his NBA career with the San Antonio Spurs. He gained his initial head coaching experience in the NBA, serving the final 30 games of the 2014-2015 season as the interim head coach for the Orlando Magic. James was named the 11th head coach in Hornets franchise history in May 2018. In his 16 seasons in the NBA, Brago has been a part of staffs that have led teams to the playoffs 11 different times. James has been a part of two NBA championship teams and has dedicated much of his time in the offseason to expanding basketball's international influence. He and his wife, Megan, who is also a Class of 96 alum, have a daughter, Grace, and two sons, Zachary and Nicholas. I still see the kid in him. I still remember when we had bells and lights that people know back then into class. He would rush out to get outside to play Foursquare. Well, I first met him when he was a sixth grader, and uh, you know he, was, he came in with uh, Josh Skarsgård. They came in and they wanted to be involved in our program, wanted to be ball boys, and uh, he was a quiet leader. Everybody liked him. I don't know anybody who didn't like him. Uh, and he was, uh, you know, when he spoke, people listened, you know. Uh, he had a lot to say, but uh, it was pretty much just by his actions. But great kid, great leader, uh, tremendous basketball player, but most importantly, a nice individual. He was focused and determined to understand um, and his work ethic to be able to do two and a half hours of basketball practice after school. And he um, was coming at seven in the morning. He worked in the kitchen because uh, we had a work study program back then and kids could sign up to work and decrease the tuition. And he and Sean would come at seven in the morning. They got the tables all set because at that time it was family dining nine students and a teacher at every table. And they made sure the plates were out, the silverware, the glasses. And then he'd also work and pull weeds. And so he put in a long day for a young kid. But it gave him a chance to get out of his environment and uh, be active in a very positive and positive community. So yeah, that, that helped a lot. Uh, his mom is a big factor in his life, and she instilled not just a work ethic, but a moral code that he lived by, and a determination that Academy, and he does believe to this day that Academy is one of the biggest factors in his success, and she worked two jobs to have him here. No, she was a great influence and a very, very positive lady. Uh, all the stuff that you know she sacrificed for him to, uh, you know, to to get here and to stay here and rides and jobs and you know, but most importantly, she was a very very inspirational lady. That class in '96 was a very tight class. I happened to be their dean, and um, they lost three class members within two years of their graduation. And he was there for everybody. Uh, just as they were there when he lost his grandmother. Yeah, it was tough. Uh, we, uh, after she passed, uh, we went to the funeral and we were all uh, involved in a district tournament, but uh, we all, all the boys in the letter jackets went up to Grants and went to the cemetery and supported James. And uh, then we won a district championship, which was great. And I know James remembers that vividly. Well, he's been out of high school now 23 years. And for his 40th birthday, he didn't want any big party. He wanted Josh, Sean, and Zach to come to San Antonio and spend the weekend with him. The three guys he was friends with from day one. And uh, you know, he's married to Megan, started dating Megan when they were juniors. And now they're married with three kids. And that's the center of his life, his friends, and his family. But you know, 
he had his he had his moments where you know he and Skarsgård would get in trouble a little bit here and there not too bad you know they'd just be typical uh, typical adolescent males as a senior on his 18th birthday he scored 45 points we were playing Burnley and he scored 45 points and uh, Josh celebrated by taking him to Sandia Casino that night but uh, in those days you could it was a tent Sandia Casino and you could get in if you were 18 so I told Josh I said well I'm glad I didn't see you there you know he stands by his friends he's there for them all the time and that has never wavered even now that he's a head coach that hasn't changed and that was very apparent when we were all in Phoenix the time he spent with all of us and some of those people he did not know but they were academy and that was all that mattered to him that was like family because academy was his second family and still is yeah James you're the best uh, what a role model for your family uh, everybody takes pride in you and it was great to see you come from where you came from and accomplish what you've accomplished and uh, you just bring a lot of, of, of brightness and happiness to everybody around you. I'm proud of where he is today because I know how hard he's worked and I know it wasn't always easy but he stayed positive. He never gave up. Other people might give up and walk away. James didn't do that. Just like he's never walked away from his friends. He's been there with that core group all through these years and uh, and he didn't have to keep in touch with me, but he cares about the people that have been important in his life. And um, I'm very appreciative of that. I'm proud of the person, the man he is today.